next time we go on a horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor, after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Ciri had returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, oh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Thanks, Yen. See you later. Greetings. What have you got to pawn, and how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time, and you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. Morkvarg sends his regards. Here. Anyone asks, I don't know him. Never laid eyes on him. We'll be done in a moment. And then... A giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udelric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. 
Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Ah! Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in the bay? Aye, like it were yesterday. Oh. Fresh fans. Saris. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What... what happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! Pain's just awful! Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar. The ancestral sword of Ulrich's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Ulrich. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Ulrich and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Brockfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerich alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerich both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. 
Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelrek hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, foreigner. You're in Skelliger, our land. And we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest... Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Angry you want to make peace with your brother? Are the gods of Skellige that cruel? They are that just. Justice demands you return to the dead what is rightly theirs. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. If anything, time to see Udelrick. But why? Last night, why'd you do it? What is this? Udelrick, the voice has. Commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki. And now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye. Suffer and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows.
The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Heims force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udalric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udalric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udalric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Oh, just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. What can I say? So, shall we try trekking it first? Yeah, let's. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's Lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Let's look around. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared.
shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. Geralt, come! Think I've got an idea! Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the babe. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. 
Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker rock? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. Oh. I'm looking for men from Undvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with Mary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. A lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Be your excellent Haderog. He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Umvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Galnar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, damn dire. Need to get to Undvik. Ugh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave, sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Hey, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Yalmar landed. Yalvar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a wilt looking to collect bumps on his skull could only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zarakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorses hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other ass. <laughs> Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Glad to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Nice talking to you. The time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. To the modest abode, whose corners are rose, 
To my dog with his pipe To my two boys, my life To the alcove wherein lies my beautiful wife So as my strength I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. I'm looking for Hjalmar on Crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew. Aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, aye. Saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in. Leaf the red, fallen, viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, hey. Aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, guarding absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Yalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, Mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. Signs of a battle. Giant chased them. They ran toward the caves. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Giant's Pantry. Recruited quite a few men. No Hjalmar here, though. Gotta keep looking. Hjalmar came through here. Had to. Winds howling. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Taken by surprise. But they fought off the attack. I need more Two people came through here. Searched Separately. The These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack.
cooking something. Huh? Cookie. Hey! You there! Help me! Water's getting hot! Ah! Ah! Shut dead. I need that man. No! We win human from mirrors. I figure it out. <laughs> Play me for the man, then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot, too. Good! Good! Climb riddles! No! No bubble! First riddle. Lots eat, lots drink. Big E B. Step big E. Big E bash! A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You all right? Ugh. Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself, him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Yalmar? Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair, in the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Pharaoh steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm. Sail whipped about like a rag. Finally caught sight of shore, but then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them arseways or something. Dim that one. Heard tales and was so afeard of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears. Failed to hear our warning calls. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. Krach sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young Onkrate's return. 
So it started already? Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him, man, Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Krach? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled, especially since Ceres set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og, and no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmard only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go. Giant came down the mountain, barged into the village, then kicked the gate down from the inside. Fallen? I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off. And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait. Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The Sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. I'm telling you, plow an enormous horse, son, he is. Wonderful. Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. I cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Now, one odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Guess he should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this on great. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now! Hey, let me 
me out, quick! Shut your trap. I sat by the bloody troll called on with nary a murmur. Thanks, brother. I remember that. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, right. Just as soon as I kill him. I knew we'd best him. <sighs> Viggy, you daft bastard. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Wanna look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Gonna head back to Hard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead, and the folk of Onvik can go home. And Ceres? She back yet? Yeah, and she did what she set out to do on Spikarog. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, Uncrate. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. 
Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krak awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. <laughs> I've as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time you crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! Ah, damn it! Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell with or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Friends we show heart. Foes we show our axe. Beautifully, Lord. Where are these goblins from? Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Leaving Keratrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... <laughs> That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. 
<laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not step for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait. Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Jarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Someone the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Talking won't help anything. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Let it go. The gates were shut. All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bear's like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Audric. Shit. No more than a kid. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards... Mushrooms? Bowls empty. For the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. 
and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Freyr, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said... Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Saib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. We Are must you? find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellica tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, needs gotta flow. And so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end, down below. Come, I'll show you. Right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another exit behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. We might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac... Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. <laughs> Could you ask for clearer prints? Sticky from the mead. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby, something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go.
Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Faster. Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. Why do you betray them? Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No Oncrete should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the Jarls. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boone of bronze. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. "'Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests." "'There's reason in these words." "'Have you any proof to confirm your accusation?" "'I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald." "'Sarah speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Ceres and the Witcher descended into the cellars. You betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Berner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Noily, look a dog. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Bernard's right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crete will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me, the family, the clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock 
to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. When I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. Mm, but enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. We're just in time. They've already started. Weren't long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our mourning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. Some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What's the new Queen of Skellige planning? Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugos during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. Looks to me you're near bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me, what other Jarl can boast children like mine? <laughs> Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. You all right? So-so. Anyway you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. I bet I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. Which would do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah. Surprised to see him in that much of a huff, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. 
Take care, Yelmer. Ah, Witcher! Greetings! Baron's not here. Rode off to find a healer. For the wife, naturally. I know. Seen what's happening outside the gates? What do you mean? Baron left me in command. Told the boys to set things right, put them in order. The new order. They're murdering and pillaging. That is the new order. And I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. Who will protect us poor from the cutthroats? Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hardle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Care Morton. Well, come on. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. <sighs> Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once!
Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. No courtesies needed? Perfect. But remember, I'm not your soldier, or page, or dog, so don't give me any orders. Would you prefer I order my guards? Look around. I need only beckon. Geralt. Now report. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task. I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. 
passenger got a little restless. Mm, what have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... Now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already? And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see you, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things, through the bed off the balcony. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's gotta have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. God damn it, you piece of shit! Uh oh. You decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. Ah, so it is about Triss. Yes, it's about our dear darling Triss. Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know, you'd lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. Hmm. You got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret. For the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now. But you'll understand in time. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. 
All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Thank you, Geralt. Ah, leaking again. Damn it. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous White Wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it. Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. Damn it! Moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Hmm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Cave entrance is just opposite, see it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old Speartip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Make this boat yourself? Yeah. 
Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old Speartip? Old Speartip's still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old Speartip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine. Let's go. Hey, little guy. Ah! It's all right, you're safe now. No! No! How? Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the fog that's to take care of now. You're not gonna let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? Dandelion should sing about you instead. Lambert, the smartass witcher. Better that than naive. Smartasses live longer. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy? Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! Me a fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. Huh. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. Ha! <laughs> See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Wait, 
chassis to walk no more. He stops. Uh, East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> Mm-hmm. They understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death! Far more! Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come no to Witchesy Castle. Rock Slotzler. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll rock troll. Witchesy strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher. Wood? Only you. Witcher's monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. Um, um, we do go this. Use sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease. We smash. No way. Witcher without his sword? It'd be like losing an arm. Better arm lose than head! Just a few steps more, and we're there. Oh, that's some serious panting. Out of breath, out of shape. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. Okay, All right. Phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Yeah, Axie's useful. 
and dangerous. <laughs> what makes you say that? It tempts you to overuse it. Force a merchant to reduce his price, make an arrogant noble drink from the gutter. Teach someone to show you respect it can become hard to resist. I don't. Life's too short. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. Think it's that bad being a witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. You go ahead. Gonna stay here a bit. Hmm. Not too long, though. Remember, we got ourselves a cripple to cure. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, the stench. Off to this stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's Bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. Yen's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise, to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Come on, you're a handsome guy in your own way. Carol, please. Cut the crap. Shh! Hear that? Incoming. Overgrown reptiles. Hate it when they do that. Might have bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved this lost night once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. 
told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No nope. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. We broke its wing, I think. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? Of course it does. Don't see us lifting the curse without her, though. We could have gone to Triss for help. Put it to you this way. If Yen can't help Uma, we can always go to Triss. She won't hold it against us. But if we'd done it the other way around... <laughs> There'd be hell to pay. Exactly. Enough of this talk. Let's go. Chirping stick after all. Shh. Can we talk? How can I help you? You met him. I'm looking for Siri. Ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? Think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? Mm hmm. So do I. So long. Ah, getting warmer, warmer, hot. at the fire. Now... Yes? What is it, Wolf? I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Temeria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in balance. Not much left of that world. See you later, Vesemir. Ah, Look at the getting fire. warmer, warmer, yeah. hot. Can't be far now. Ah, getting warmer, warmer. Hot. Can't be 
Can we talk? So long. Ah, getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Look. Hold this. Ah, there you are. No reaction to dying. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. I'd rather you not make a mess of my shelves. Just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Hold this. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kevnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynglade? Kedmil and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gledev don eptenid bondro isne iachus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends. Of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree. Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request... Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. 
I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone... You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude? Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Kaer Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Something not quite right? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Or three. I'll hold you to that.
Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. What have you been up to, Lambert? On your way west last time I saw you. Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense, get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Where'd you go while you were away, Eskel? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables, to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? We were talking about Uma, weren't we? The night is young. Got time to talk about everything. Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. 
Geralt mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. So, watch this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yokel fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own, with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah, soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. Way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Fine. Leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Already has that pouty look on his face. I can't stand it. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. <sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. You and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Cause without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen. There's this game, student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? Eskel, Eskel, still waters run deep. 
I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Oh, Lambert, Lambert. Care Morin's black sheep. Want to know the best part? They weren't even my knickers. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right, man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went. To get food. All right. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert. Listen, you... you got a problem with me? Me? What? Why would you say that? Well... Just seems that way. You know, you're a little like my little brother. Dumb and annoying, but a brother. Geralt, damn it, you're gonna make me cry. Come here! Damn, broke. Good thing it was empty. Huh. Where's Eskel? Should've been back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job. For Vesemir! Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be... beleaguered. I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Spilled some wine, and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that? If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Let's go. Chop, chop. Esco! 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 Chop, chop. Esco! 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 Hey, <laughs> hear that? Sounded like panting. A wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed a fight. I think he, I think he hurt himself. What's one scar more or less in his case? Makes no. Ah, uh -huh. Esco's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Esco! Esco! Hey, look. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up! Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed. Stewed and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Leave me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert, believe you've had your last drink. 
You're just jealous you didn't think of it first, but is that any reason to spoil it for us? I don't have the strength to argue. Of course you don't, Cream Puff. Bet I could take you with one finger. Hey, relax, Lambert. Wanna fight? Huh? Mm -hmm. Wanna? Come on! Good night. Everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of... What's the term? Uh, relaxed consciousness. He behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! You don't know who's trapped in Uma's Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock. Killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No. But it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I had hoped... I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. What now? Now 
while we wait for the potions to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait, true. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. <sighs> I can't believe we're doing this. Wiping vomit off the floor? No. The trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled. Wrong in the head. Just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. No. No, I won't let you. Geralt, yellow flask, in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Never severe. Koal, Koal, Kaniatad. Nevid, Kariba, Endir. Geralt, the phylactery, open it. Kaniatad, Taran Anadir, Din. Mists. But 
It's not. She's not safe. The hunt. The hunt. What's it want from Siri? Her blood. Elder blood. To open the gate. We cannot. We cannot allow this. Isle of Mists. Where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shram. And Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse... The hunt... has not found the isle... as yet. It is a matter of time. They will detect that one. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't... know. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through... Do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this, Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a swing of sword. Or wield magic. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morin soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. Zoltan. Geralt! This debt of yours to the King of Beggars. Oh, you're on my job the time to help me get them cards? 
Yeah, what are the cards you need? Uh, Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Tiana from the Squiatel deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. They were looking for something. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Zoltan? Get out! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Sure here. Ha! They say elves are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entry show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Rabi. Eh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Ponta. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so we'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside this townhouse, gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt.
know about that. It's the flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh... Oh, you've got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that. Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play! Hmm. Well, that's it for Ravi. Your turn, shitbag. Your carrion! Uh. Oh. Take him from the back! Uh. Now you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar Bilzen to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. Certainly keeps the card there. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy, but you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Chivi! She's our Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Uh, well, see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Not really. Mainly hunt. Good, that. One lion angler at the table's enough. So what the Zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme-flavoured shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme... Get out! Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Recent early isn't a word. Who'd you bring along, Chivi? Some plowing grammar purist? Well then, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter pike! Aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers. Though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would've eaten it myself. 
I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what are you and your pals use up at Kaer Morhen? Live bait. You see, Chiwi? He'll make a good angler yet. In some 50, 60 years. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with ye. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawers open. Hmm. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Ah, here's Fringilla, dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Zoltan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, hop to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? Uh, yes! Nice razors you got there. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of Duke Silk, no doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone, as long as they pay. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt! Bastards get away with my coin! Damn it! With our coin! Chase the horse, son! I'll tend to the others! He's hexing! Leave me! Driving drowners? 
You could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Rather have the coin. It's yours. I'll still pay the King of Beggars on time. Won't that cocksucker be surprised? Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Zoltan? Geralt! I know where Ciri is. Then why are we here? Let's go get the lassie! I'll do that, but I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Ciri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me and my axe. Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Could use your help at Kaer Morhen. Aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morhen. Seeker. Your Royal Majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come on, Geralt. I'm the same lass I was, save for the title. A lot of things changed. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Ciri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us, quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morhen, battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. Gods, and made him run around a tree till he ran Look at the sword! Oh, God, you're back. That is... Fuck! Fuck! Ah, Geralt! How are things? The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood in battle such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Pulled out his respect and made him run around a tree till he ran out. Pestering me. Ever feed a dragon? These continental dandies. Telling you, Geralt, 
since you and Yelmer defeated the Ice Giant together. I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger? You've got the heart of an Uncrate. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now Wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland Uncrate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Uncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. to me a data. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian Shieldbearers or Lyrian Archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition. General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, Your Majesty. Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. Yes, hen as queen.
the hut. I'll look inside. Locked. Anybody in there? not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cupboard. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Oh. Go away! Looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. Now my mum's beard, get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt, let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle. But it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Got nothing to fear from me. Said the fox to the gaggling geese. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Three. Ivo, Gaspard, and Ferenc. This Ivo, where do I look? Edgett insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. Gaspard, where'll I find him? He said it was defeatist. Set and wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Make me see one thing. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Talk to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, uh, ah! Dead. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo, saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then.
brought you your friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> Gaspard, stand back. I'm opening the door. Gaspard, ha, you seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shut. Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping, and uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. Wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? 
He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process? Well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalach opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there? Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalarch's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how'd you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. 
and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident. I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am, where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time... Instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin, on horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn! Listen, we gotta think of a way to...
Welcome back, child. Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Time short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. Glad to see you, Triss. Thank Yennefer. She's the one who invited me. There'll be time to talk later. We should confer now. Yen, you know the Wild Hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic they use. Their navigators open portals, rifts that we might counter with Dimeritium or our own magic. They also summon the frost that occupies the voids through which they travel. There's just not enough of us. It'll be a hard fight. Illusion. Greetings, Geralt. If I'm to die today, I wish to look smashing for the occasion. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the Hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? Aridin, the King of the Hunt. He's confident. He'll strike hard, hoping to defeat us with the force of the blow alone. We've got to take the initiative away from him, foil his plan. I'll generate a magic dome over the fortress. It will scatter them, force them to land in the woods. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? <sighs> Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. 
Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert and Geralt will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the Navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Serious talk coming. They're after you. No matter what happens, you can't put yourself in danger. Want me to sit and wait while others risk their lives for me? Listen to me this once. Don't take matters into your own hands. Don't treat me like a child. Didn't even do that when you were one. I like it when you smile. Come here. Everything will be all right.
Gonna have to thank Yen once this is all over. That spell... really something. And the invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting, remember that. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Urden at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. Next time you get the feeling I'm about to piss off Marigold, make sure and knock me upside the head. Regrouping. See the commander? Name's Imlarith. I remember him from back when I rode of the hunt. Damn it. Spell's waning. We're becoming visible. What's with Marigold? Shit. You were meant to wait inside! I refuse to sit idle while you risk your lives for me. Back inside! No! Geralt gave the signal from the woods and Triss hasn't cast the spell. Damn it! All right, run to her.
Geralt! Detachment approaching from the woods. We need to close the gate before they get inside. Ladana. Esco. Damn it! We agreed he'd open that gate. Hasn't done it yet. Means... He'll be fine. We've got Triss to worry about now. Everything all right? Yes, thanks. Things were looking shaky. We had to fall back. They tried to get in through the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. What's with Esco? We have to retreat. He's in trouble. I'm going to help him. Remember the stone I gave you.
to. your ass down like you were supposed to. <laughs> Who would have saved yours then? Eskos, open the gate! We can retreat beyond it! Fall back! You're not supposed to be out here. Too late now. They're coming in through the gaps! Time Meridian bombs. You'll find more in the crates by the walls. were an unruly child. I adored that about you. Now fly! No!
I... I was too late to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Kermorin. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. We'd all be dead if not for you. No, Geralt. The hunt would never have come to Kaer Morhen if I wasn't here. Vesemir's funeral. We should prepare. Himself. No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No. I will flee no more. Vafail. For those who remain, Death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel. What's on your mind? Care Morin. Can't imagine this place without Vesemir. I'll head down the valley soon and find somewhere else to winter next year. Come on, it's the only home we've ever had. Stay. No, Geralt. Place has been dying a while. 
Last nail in the coffin today. Time we accepted that. I'll remember your teachings always. And the sacrifice you made. Thank you. <laughs> Please. She was my ward, too. And the old should only ever stick around to help the young. You know, this hardly ends your struggle. I know. Whatever you aim to do now, remember you'll find souls willing to aid you in Skellige. Myself, Krach, his children. Thanks. I'll remember that. I shall take another look at the wounded. But I'll need to go soon. I'll leave you some medicines. Go in hell, Thermion. Till we meet again. So? Tell me. I can say I've seen it all now. I still don't believe everything that happened. Thanks for coming. Thanks for risking your lives for me. Take care of the girl. Don't let anyone harm her. What will you do? We're bound for Novigrad. To fight the next fight. If you miss us, look for us at the camp. Thanks for everything you did for me and Ciri. May I be honest? Had I known what would happen here, I'd never have come anywhere near Kaer Morhen. I'm glad I could help, but I shall leave as soon as Lambert feels better. You going together? I've an idea, but I need a Witcher to help me see it through. Lambert has agreed to assist me. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck, and thanks again. We're even now. Can we talk? What about? Holding up all right? Love questions like that. Am I holding up? What? My dick? This is shit, Geralt, and you know it. I knew the old man couldn't live forever. Even told Eskel that when it came time, I'd get his sword. Fits my hand perfectly, you know? But... Vesemir deserved a better death. Whereas he died like a louse. Crushed. We'll avenge him. Doesn't look that rosy to me. You haven't changed a lick. That disappointment I hear? No. Surprise, maybe. Most grow gentler with age. Seems you're growing pricklier. Mom always said I was different. Had some other adjectives in mind, but different will do. Try not to get into any arguments, can you? They've all come here to help. Are you gonna tell me how to behave now? No. Just asking you nicely. Well, how's this for a nice answer? Kiss my ass. See you later. Yeah. Take care. There you are. Crying shame about Vesemir. I'm sorry. Thanks for your help. I had a debt to pay. Heading straight back to Skellige? Duty calls. But listen, Geralt. You've a king for a mate. Where's the man who can claim that? If you or Ciri... Or you and Ciri... If yous ever need help, the gates of Care Troll stand open. Thanks. I'll remember that. Come to see how I'm feeling. Thanks. Not bad. That's good. Ah, son. Horrible about Vesemir. I know you were close. Thanks. We were. Listen, far be it from me to stick my beard, but it'll no scratch an itch. So don't take this the wrong way. I want to help, whatever you decide, but to my mind, we've got to counterattack. I've got to find the hunt, Eredin, and charge at them both like a bull at a heifer. Not that simple, unfortunately. We have no way of finding them. They find us easily. Can take us by surprise whenever they want. 
Forgive me, Geralt, but that's the blathering of a man who clearly can't snap out of it after a tragic loss. Drink it off. Sleep it off, whatever it takes. Just get yourself together and think things through. I'll do that, Sultan. Jarell can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly... Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Cyril from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Archmistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? I don't want the Lodge anywhere near Siri. Just don't trust those women. What would you have us do instead? Fight alone and die a beautiful but pointless death? No, Geralt. By some miracle, we survived that fight, eking out a measly victory at enormous cost. No more guerrilla warfare. Time to face the enemy in open battle. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think! I've heard enough of this! I won't be taken somewhere like a... bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly, and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. Hmm. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet, either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalach says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! Yo! 
you'll regret that. Cheating. <laughs> Wimp. We'll see about that. <laughs> Come and get me. service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Dunno. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes, and I must do this. Come, we shall talk on the way. Lead on. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Avalark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. Avalark claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Karanthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalark's student. One once served the ladies. 
He's an old sub. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We won't join you at your fires, though we thank you for the invitation. Time we were on our way. You wish to see the ladies? I too hope to before I die. Go up the mountain and face old Thecla. She'll decide if you're worthy. Do just that. Farewell. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. But I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass. She is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh... Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Moons are right. oh. It's clearing up. Mm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. I stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus, it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl wanna send alone. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice, but to do so you must best the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Oren.
Now, bring me the coin. He's not. Beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's afoot. Something's. They're back. What do you want? Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for you. Now go! That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop whining. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zugal. What's yours? Mm, your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalarch said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Himmler is a bigger threat than the Crones. I should face him. I'm no worse a fighter than you. We both know that's not true. Listen to me this once. But... No buts. Fine. Be careful. You too. Let's get down there. Oh, hell. I guess I must jump.
welcome, child of the Elder Blood. We knew you would return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough. Sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? I'm here alone. A lie which will change nothing. First you, then her. You to fight like this. The Witcher you slew. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion. 
My sole memento. Coming here? Good idea. I knew we'd succeed. From the start. Now to find Eredin and kill him. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses of the Lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Hmm. You are, and you do. Let's stay a bit longer. So, off to Novigrad then? Yeah, let's get going. Let's go. The Oak is dead. The Oak, the Crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? I've got one. Take it. But one? What will we do now? This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage. On your own. Humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated, and witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Dundee Lion! Ready some tankers! With guests! Geralt! Siri! When I learned Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy morning then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I've a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anyone here besides us? Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is... I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. Buy you a drink? 
I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlareth, was that your idea or Ceres? Ceres? As I thought. I'm glad you went with her. I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts. The prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of a man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. How'd it go at the Lodge? Anyone agree to help? I'm afraid the situation's looking grim. Dangerous times, especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out. But it's neither the time nor the place for this discussion. Triss will tell you more. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! Ah. <sighs> Best run and get him. Agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be. Calm down. We just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you. You shan't hurt me. No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, oh, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. <laughs> Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they'd learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before. They drop the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs, rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? Oh, not officially, but you know how it is. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If 
we can find a way into the ruins. We'll get into the prison. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Zoltan? Get out! They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakaman as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. You'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mages left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf lingering around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Come on, we came out of it fine. Can't say the same for Imlarith. That's the sole comfort I find in this. But it's no justification. You know what might have happened? But it didn't. I was there. Had the situation under control. Mind if we change the subject? Past burning pyres on the way into town. Non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novigrad. Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira? Margarita? Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vleister. Philippa and a former lover? Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Philip had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Zoltan. Huh. So Philippa was here, under our noses, the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the Owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilege. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. 
need to take care of something first. Meet you somewhere later? Fine. The fountain outside the Passiflora. And hurry, please. Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have... Mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Skip the guessing games. I'm tired. The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. How do you know? Or are you bluffing? Eredin made sure very few individuals knew of his betrayal. Most are now dead. Didn't answer my question. How matters not. What matters is, I know. And I have an idea how to use this knowledge. Haven't mentioned killing Gels. Such drastic means are not always necessary. So you probably plan to offer him a deal. Brilliant deduction. Bravo. Want a deal? Talk to him? Trust him? I'd rather just kill him. That is precisely one of the reasons why Gels abhors your world. Your senseless brutality. At times, one must use reason rather than blades. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened? Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways. Even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Meet you there. Got a see to something along the way. Hurry. I'd rather not loiter in the street any longer than necessary.